Hi, I'm Emma Richardson. I'm a PA with Associates in Family Medicine at the CSU location on Prospecting College. A mask is important to wear to both protect yourself from the coronavirus and also to protect other people. You could be transmitting the coronavirus even if you're completely asymptomatic. So by wearing a mask, you protect yourself, your family, and the rest of the community. It's important for everyone to wear a mask, not just yourself, not just one person at a time, but for every single person to wear a mask, because that significantly reduces the risk of overall transmission of coronavirus. At AFM, everyone needs to wear a mask whenever you're inside any one of our buildings. As soon as you enter, you need to be already wearing a mask. It needs to be covering your nose and mouth. You need to wear a mask even when you're alone, waiting for a provider in the room because air particles can actually linger in the room for hours, which could inadvertently transmit the virus to other people. There are lots of different types of masks out there. What's important and essential is to wear a mask that is a solid barrier, unlike certain lace masks, and it has to be a double layer mask rather than a single layer cotton or some sort of bandana. So whether it's a surgical mask or a cotton mask, it has to have two layers and be snugly fit around your face. So the proper way to wear a mask is snugly fit around the bridge of your nose, around your cheeks, and around your chin. Most of them have loops around your ears and they should be worn around your ears rather than tucked around your neck unless it can be snugly fit around your face. When you have a surgical mask such as this, the metal part embedded should be fit around your nose. You pinch it, wrap around your ears, and loop over your chin. Go back and make sure that it's snugly fit all around your face like so. If you have a cotton mask, the same rules apply. Snugly fit around your nose, over your ears, making sure you pinch your nose and it's snugly fit around your chin. When you're talking to someone, it's important not to pull the mask away from your face as that defeats the purpose of how the mask is supposed to be fit. In this scenario, the air and the droplet particles can move out from under the mask and cause transmission of the virus. So you wanna make sure that this stays nicely tucked under your tip.